Mr. Bisley here. We'd like to give everybody a quick happy 4th of July. Uh, I decided to do a quick military themed video for our YouTube audience and subscribers uh, and our Facebook friends. First of all, we'd like to say uh, from Mr. Bislot, our staff, even though they're not here today, they all have off, uh, that we do appreciate our military, we support the military, our efforts, um, everybody's given a lot, uh, we salute you. You are what made America great, uh, it's not necessarily business, um, you are the ones that helped us achieve independence um, from other countries and you are what makes America great. So today's video is for you. It is to give us and to give you a salute. Uh, my father was also in the military. So dad, if you happen to see this, you know, thank you again for everything. And uh, we appreciate everything that you do in the military. Um, the Wounded Warrior Foundation is something that we're gonna start striving for and donating to from our company. So we hope that you know we can set an example uh, to help the veterans that are out in the United States now that are in need. So today's video is dedicated to you, our service men and women. Um, a big thanks to all the mothers that are in our service and uh, women because you do just as much as any man and we want to give thanks to you as well. So our video today is dedicated to you. So my wife will get back the phone and we'll start showing you guys a little bit of stuff from Mr. Bai's lab. So today's video will have my son Aiden picked out a military model for a ship, a military model for a tank, which he really likes tanks, and another military model for, it's a B-24 he just said, for airplanes and then we'll go obviously we take pride in our flag um, if you're in America you should take pride in the flag so we have old photograph of a military plane there's a Korean War survival knife uh, a World War One Remington bayonet with the original sheath that I bought last week these documents here that you see are government documents. They are transcriptions of the House and of Senate. Um, most of these are pension reports from the Civil War, so people asking for money for damages and uh, the soldiers that got hurt in the Civil War. Uh, they have to petition Congress and the Senate. Um, so hopefully, you know, we don't have to do that nowadays because, you know, our military is very important. Uh, we have an honorable discharge paper from the United States Navy. This is all from one guy's collection. Uh, so, you know, obviously we thank William Slack if you're out there. So that was a World War II honorable discharge. This is a letter of separation from the U.S. Naval uh, Service. And then a little bit older, same family. Uh, these are this indenture is from January 1875, so 1875. Um, as you can see, it is also from the same family. And Andrew, John, Zach. And then this is probably my favorite piece um, from the collection. It was from Harmon Slack. This is from 1865, right at the end of the Civil War. This was a letter um, about him being in service. This is from their family. What makes this really unusual is it is a large piece. It's folded. Uh, generally, Civil War letters are single-sided, one page. This is from Abraham Slack. Again, 1865, Civil War era. But what makes this piece amazing and a true piece of history is that on the back is a drawn map for a battle that they were involved in. So this is all hand drawn. Um, it tells you, you know, that one of his friends was captured um, four or five miles from the from the camp, 
you can see there are other identification marks on the map. It is fully drawn. He was an officer. So this is a Civil War map. So we wanted to bring you guys a couple military and uh, items that I, you know, felt gave some honor to our military service. We buy collections all the time that involve military items. So, uh, you know, for instance, this is a collection of patches uh, from a family who had, you know, been through multiple um, wars and tours of service and groups, and they started collecting patches of friends and other groups and people that they knew. And, you know, times were tough. And they decided to sell them to us, so we decided to show you guys that, uh, you know, that the past is, you know, unfortunately does repeat itself, and that if we forget the past, we are doomed to repeat the bad parts of it. I know eBay and Amazon and everything like that, and a lot of the news lately is about all the oppression and issues uh, that occur in history um, but just remember that without history we would not have a current timeline and that we should learn from history and not be afraid of it and not dwell on things that happened in the past um, we can't change the past we as a as a nation and as a people can change the future so we have to uh, pass color and gender lines and I'll get to the fact that we are all one race of human being on this planet and we should be proud to be uh, Americans, just in general Americans. So we would like to hear from Mr. Bislot to give thanks to everyone um, that had anything to do with our military, that has family in the military. And again, we salute you and thank you for your service. We look forward to helping in the future any way we can. God bless, and happy 4th of July.